Hey there! Welcome back to our channel, your go-to destination for all things automotive. Today, we've got a special treat for all you beginners out there, a step-by-step -step guide on how to change the oil in your car. Yep, you heard me right, we're diving into the nitty-gritty of car maintenance. Don't worry, it's easier than you might think. But before we get our hands dirty, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss any of our helpful guides. Tools and Materials First things first, let's talk about what you'll need. Changing your car's oil is a breeze when you have the right tools and materials. Here's what you'll want to gather up, a car jack and jack stands, an oil filter wrench, a socket set, a funnel, an oil drain pan, a new oil filter, your car's owner's manual, safety gloves and goggles, an oil filter and oil suitable for your car's make and model. With all of these in hand, you're ready to roll. Raising the car. Now, let's get started. First, you'll need to raise your car using the car jack and secure it with jack stands for safety. Always make sure to consult your owner's manual for the proper jacking points. Locating the oil pan and filter. Next, crawl under your car and locate the oil pan and oil filter. The oil pan is usually at the bottom of the engine, and the filter is nearby. Be sure to place the oil drain pan under the oil pan to catch any dripping oil. Draining the old oil. Now comes the fun part, draining the old oil. Using your socket set, carefully remove the oil drain plug from the oil pan. Make sure you've got your safety goggles on because oil might come gushing out. Allow the oil to drain completely into the oil drain pan. Replacing the oil filter. While the oil is draining, let's move on to replacing the oil filter. Use your oil filter wrench to remove the old filter and make sure the rubber gasket comes off with it. Apply a little new oil to the rubber gasket on the new filter, then screw it on by hand. Tighten it just a quarter turn past hand tight. Adding new oil. With the old oil completely drained, it's time to add the new oil. Place a funnel in the oil fill cap, consult your owner's manual for the correct oil type and capacity, and pour it in. Remember, it's always better to underfill slightly and check the dipstick than to overfill. Checking the oil level. Speaking of which, once you've added the new oil, check the oil level using the dipstick. Make sure it falls within the recommended range, and you're good to go. Cleaning up. Finally, remove the oil drain pan, lower your car from the jack stands, and voila! You've successfully changed the oil in your car. Just make sure to recycle the old oil properly at your local auto parts store or recycling center. There you have it, folks, a beginner's guide to changing your car's oil. It's not as intimidating as it may seem, and regular oil changes are essential for keeping your engine running smoothly. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more automotive tips and tricks. Thanks for tuning in, and happy wrenching! And remember, with a little knowledge and the right tools, you can save money and ensure your car runs like a dream. Until next time, stay safe on the road, and we'll see you in the next video.